for your free start with your intro. Uh, good morning, ma'am. Uh, I am Rajesh Patel. I belong to Anand District in Gujarat, which is also known as Milk Capital of India. I completed my bachelor's in mechanical engineering from the Ramsing Desai University and graduated in twenty twenty one. During my final year, I did industrial training at L and T Heavy Engineering in Surat, Gujarat. Then I joined uh, L and T Technology Services via campus placement. Uh, it's been almost three years since I started my professional journey with uh, L and T Technology Services. Okay. Okay, Bridget, what soft skills do you have? Uh, the important ones are that I am a, a great team player. Uh, I'm good at time management, and I'm a confident person. If you are saying you're a good team player, how many number of people you can handle at one time? Uh, ma'am. Uh, like, uh, during my uh experience here at uh L N T, uh, I am uh able to handle the uh. Juniors and uh, seniors uh, relationships, but uh, currently I'm not leading a team. But uh, like I communicate my end uh, each and everything, and also uh, I will sometimes uh, train or make familiar the uh, our ways of working to the new joinees and newcomers to my team. Okay. Fine. What is the biggest fear? Biggest fear. Uh, well, sometimes I feel like uh, when things are not going according to my way that I decided. So, like even if I am putting my hundred percent, like what wrong is going on with me that I am not able to do so? It's one of my biggest fear. Okay, if you not got selected in NFL, then what is the plan B? Um, firstly, <clears throat> I will focus on my areas of improvement, and I make sure that uh, I work upon them, and I will try again next year. What is the immediate objective, Pradesh? Uh, immediate objective uh, would be to uh, join a public sector unit. To join a public sector, right? Yes, ma'am. You are also working, and uh, right now you are also working in a corporate sector. Yeah, in a private firm. Private sector. Okay. So, which one you find suitable according to you? Where is the lot of scope of growing, of earning, or like that? Private or government? Um, uh, ma'am, uh, both have their own uh, pros and cons. Uh, but uh, I think I am uh more suitable for the like the PSU or the government in the long run, because for me. The job satisfaction that I will get by working in the PSUs uh, is unmatchable when I will be working in the private even if for longer run. Okay, tell me one drawback of working in a government or uh, public sector. Uh, I I won't be uh, saying. the negative things as a drawback like there is always a scope of improvement okay fine okay tell me what are two benefits of uh, joining a private public sector ma'am firstly uh, they are one of the best uh, employers mm -hmm. that will provide me ample of opportunities to grow both personally and professionally mm -hmm. and secondly 
is the my work here will be directly or indirectly create an impact on the society especially for the indian people profit or ethics what would you choose and why uh ma'am the if i need to choose between those two then i will go with the ethics why because uh profit is something which we can work upon and build by using new technologies or by restructuring but ethics is something like it needs to be come from within the person um okay give me some name of the product of nf the main product is the neem coated urea fertilizers mm -hmm. and then other uh, chemicals such as uh, bentonite and uh, sodium nitrate sodium nitride etc what do you say like people are using these kinds of uh, fertilizers as a drug also uh ma'am i think uh, if we are using in an uh, optimized way i mean in an uh, uh the most optimized manner then it will be beneficial for the crop and uh, is there any harmful or something harmful effect of these fertilizers uh, to the skin or i would say to the body i suppose lot of uh, you know people are using these fertilizers in the field or you know farm for basically so some of they got a uh, skin problem or like that uh, they used to face problem in and they lot of say to breathing something like that do you think so something is like that um uh, i think if we uh, follow the standard operating procedure to apply this fertilizer then uh, those errors or issues will be at a minimum level what do you uh, understand by standard operating procedure mm, like uh, like how to apply those fertilizers to the crops like uh, there would be some methods that would be uh, suggested by uh, this uh, company so like if we are not going according to them then there may be chances of uh, having some uh, symptoms or those how does this concept can be used at workplace mem uh like if uh, we are given our task to on our end then we should be following the sop which are made by the organization as well as our leaders so that the task is completed uh, uh in a smooth manner uh, with maximum quality and uh, minimum errors which is the best part of the day for you ma'am definitely it would be the morning part as i feel that i am a morning person mm -hmm. early bird yeah okay tell me two good happen um my two good habits uh, includes i uh regularly exercise uh like in the form of uh, like walking or jogging and stretching mm -hmm. uh uh second uh, would be that uh, i i i go for uh, swimming or i can say i i practice a uh, bit boxing Okay, my last question to you is: If in future you uh, thought, you think, you will think that, okay, it's not my cup of tea, then what would you uh, do? Like, let's suppose if you found that, okay, I'm in the wrong organization, I shouldn't be here, then what would you? Um, ma'am, by working here for three years uh, at L and T, I have realized that I am a uh, more. Uh, adaptable that is i can learn a different uh, 
types of things and task uh, and i am uh, have become a more accountable person so whatever task given to me at nfl i will give my best and try to complete it within the timelines so there is a very rare chance of me thinking that uh, it is not cup of my tea or i won't be able to So, Brijesh, I would say that uh, you are accountable to, I think, every kind of question. The thing is that uh, you need to, you know, elaborate your answer a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. Some of the times, I mean, some questions need a little elaboration. Some need a little brief. But if we answer in monosyllables, in monosyllables means answering in one word. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. I think it's like not like that. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. I think it's like not like that. Yes, ma'am. थोड़ा सा उसको जस्टिफाई करना पड़ेगा टू और थ्री सेंटेंसेस क्विकली बट वी नीड टू बी जस्ट ठीक है लाइक एज आस्ट यू बैड हैबिट ठीक है वो तो सेंटेंसेस में आपने बता दिया कि मैम आई सॉरी गुड हैबिट मैम आई यूज टू वेक अप अर्ली दैट इज माई फर्स्ट गुड हैबिट सेकेंड आई यूज टू डू एक्सरसाइज एवरी डे ठीक है दैट इज ऑल्सो माई आई वु गुड हैबिट ठीक है लेकिन हम बहुत सारे से वाई शुड आई सेलेक्ट यू या अभी मैंने बोला कि अगर आपको कभी फील हो कि आर नॉट द कप ऑफ टी ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक दैट देन व्हाट वुड यू से मैम आई थिंक दिस इज अ वेरी आई वुड से इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इट कैन बी हैपन दैट इफ आई फील स्ट्रेस और प्रेशराइज आई थिंक एज अ मूवमेंट आई हैव अ मूवमेंट टेंडेंसी देन आई कैन फील दैट ओके इट्स नॉट आई एम नॉट वर्किंग ऑन दैट एंड आई कैन गिव अप बट नो I'll try to not not give up on that, and I'll try to complete my task on time or site like that. Even I will take it as an enthusiasm, not as a formality or a work pressure. ठीक है कि उसको work pressure के साथ नहीं लूँगा तो शायद मैं अच्छे से कर सकूँ. ठीक है answers को थोड़ा सा elaborative, facial expression doubtable नहीं होना चाहिए. बहुत ही clear होना चाहिए. मतलब बहुत सारे question मैंने अभी आपको पूछे but ऐसा लगा जैसे कि आप doubt में हो क्या बोलने बोलना चाहिए कि नहीं बोलना चाहिए ठीक है मैंने आपको पूछा कि तीन लीटर क्या है ऑल दो आंसर सारे ठीक है बट थोड़ा सा अलाबरेट कर थोड़ा सा ज्यादा नहीं मैंने पूछा कि ठीक है अगर आप बोल रहे हो कि आप अच्छे टीम लीडर तो अपने कितने लोगों को मतलब आप हैंडल कर सकते हो आपने बोला कि मैम अपने जूनियर को भी हैंडल कर रहा हूँ मैंने सीनियर को भी किया है मैं अभी वर्किंग हूँ लाइक दैट पर आपने मुझे वो नंबर मतलब ऐसा स्पेसिफाई नहीं किया ठीक है यू कैन से लाइक दैट की मैम Uh, as per my capacity, I can handle ten people at one time. ठीक है और अगर मैं आपको ये बोलती कि मैं आपको सो लोग दूंगी आप उनके सुपरवाइजर होंगे आपको उनको हैंडल करें तो हाउ वुड यू हैंडल दैट मैम आई इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर मी टू अकाउंटेबल टू ईच एंड एवरी वन आई कैन डिवाइड दैट ग्रुप एंड आई कैन मेक अ मॉनिटर ऑफ ईच ग्रुप ठीक है आई वुड बी सबॉर्डिनेट एंड दैट हाउ आई कैन रन माई टीम Okay, what is uh, you know team A is doing? What is team B is doing? Team C is doing something like that. Getting my point? Mm-hmm. Okay, you are already working. Who you are three years to work with? So I think you should know these things more. Okay, organization. Profit ethics. We talk about ma'am. I think profit or ethics are both are very important at at their place. And when we think of doing a business or like that, we need to be look after the profit. But I think ethics plays You know, ethics carries more weightage. Ethics is much more weighted as compared to profit because if we are loyal towards the organization and organization is too loyal to us, right? We can like easily get the I would say profit or like that. Okay. If you know, sab kuch time pe ho raha hai, uh, you know, acha business chal raha hai, waha employee ki side se output hai, organization ki side se output hai. I think that we can run into very smooth path. Getting my point? Mm-hmm. वो चीज आपने बोलनी है ब्रिजेश मतलब बहुत ही क्लियर आंसर देना है बड़ा क्रिस्प का आंसर होना चाहिए बहुत इलेबरेटिव नहीं होना चाहिए बट इतना भी मोनोफ्लेबल नहीं होना चाहिए कि हम सिर्फ एक दो वर्ड में ही काम खत्म हो ऐसा भी नहीं होना चाहिए बेस्ट पार्ट इज आर अकाउंटेबल आपको सारे आंसर आते हैं बट उनको प्रेजेंट करना हमें सीखना होता है और वो गुड हैबिट से मतलब वो सही तरह की एक्सरसाइज रेगुलरली करना वो ठीक है वो ठीक है लेकिन बीट बॉक्सिंग की जगह आप आई थिंक यू नो आप बीट बॉक्सिंग की जगह वेकिंग अप अर्ली भी बोल सकते हो या फिर ईटिंग हेल्दी फूड भी आप बोल सकते हो आई थिंक दैट कैन बी मोर ओके हम्म राइट 